divine feminine and divine masculine what's up everybody welcome to my channel am i tripping or not tarot my name is cock frost but you can call me the ghetto nun so divine feminine i'm here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days i do cuss in my readings and get no fucks about it so if you do please get the fuck on i do start all of my cards upright in my deck i don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit also i did pre-shuffle but i did not lay any cards down just yet we're gonna do it to get dirt please keep in mind <clears throat> excuse me this may or may not resonate with every single divine feminine getting no fit nuts info for private readings will be below the video please take the time to check out our community board it's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses purposes gifts etc etc posted if you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board please check the info in the description box below the video if you find that the convent is not for you please look for the nearest exit mark get the fuck on watch it on the way out hit the alley you'll be back in Terrellon. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. Love ya. All right, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. So the Prairie Venge, how was it for you? It was great for me. Crazy shit is it lasted days. It kind of uh, weaned off today, but I was kind of like in this kind of state, uh, like a prayer state, but not necessarily in prayer, but I could hear things. Like things got clearer, messages got clearer, my dreams got more clear, uh, things like that. So it's been interesting the past couple of days. So uh, what say you, right? Uh, we're going to do the 22nd. Yes, same thing. 2.22 a.m., 2.22 p.m., 11 minutes both times. We'll do it again February 22nd. I will remind you, so don't you worry about a thing, right? But this prayer event felt good. I do feel like, honestly, too, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, that a lot of uh, unions were sealed uh in this prayer especially if both people happen to show up i don't know how that would happen but that's what they said if your divine masculine was in this prayer event or divine feminine uh and you two are whatever together or interested or whatever the hell it is you guys may have sealed that uh during the prayer event so kudos to y'all it sealed some protection for both of you too okay gone uh with y'all's bad aisle okay let's go let me stop being silly give me some messages here for divine feminine in the next seven days how she's gonna be feeling about herself and the energy she's gonna be in to what's the energy and how divine feminine will be feeling about herself in the next seven days when he plays piano in the dark, boom, 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 boom. That's the tower, though, girl. Uh, shit, now. Something surprising uh, is going to happen. Divine Feminine, in the next seven days, uh, your self-discipline, right, ha will have uh, made you or caused you to have avoid a disaster, and you're going to see something happen to someone or hear about something that happened to someone, and it's going to scare the dog shit out of your ass, but not in a, a way where it's like, oh, my God, like, uh, I don't know. It's like the, when I always tell y'all, like, the fear of the Lord is what this feels like, but it don't hit you. That's that's the uh, only kind I want to experience where it's like it could happen to you, so you better stay your ass in line. It's this type of energy in the next seven days. Something that does not happen to you, but happens to someone else is going to put the fear of the Lord inside of you. Divine feminine, divine masculine in the next seven days. They're making me feel like it's going to be something where you see somebody fall from grace. They said like it could happen to any, you know how we felt when they took Kobe out G, you know what I mean? Like astounded, like anybody can go and we already knew that. But it's like something like that, G. And not like someone's going to die. I probably shouldn't have used Kobe, but I'm talking about the uh, the astounding uh, feeling, that like amaze, like what the fuck is going on feeling. It's that type of shit where, you know, you can have all the money in the world, all the whatever. It don't matter, G. All that shit can be taken away in a blink of an eye. Tower car is what this is. Damn. Well, alrighty then. there. Something also gets cleared away, Divine Feminine. Remember what I said about the prayer event, about things being clear. I feel like uh, as above, so below. So things being cleared out for you as above, meaning your mental, your spiritual, all of that shit, it's being cleared out below too, but it's, it may be being cleared out in a tower type of moment though. So not the way you expect. So some of you guys want to like, 
<coughs> excuse me, separate from a <coughs> job, a relationship, a home or something like that. And it's like, you will be ejected from that shit. <laughs> I've kind of feel like you're uh, in this tower, but not really divine feminine. Like you avoided it or something. But it still affects you because of the, like, the view. Yeah. <laughs> the view. Which is some bullshit. That damn show is some bullshit. I don't necessarily agree with what Whoopi Goldberg said, but how the fuck you get fired for your view and that's what the fuck they hired you for? That's some stupid ass shit. Granted, everybody gonna agree to disagree with whatever she said. That's not the point. It's your fucking view. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That, I think that's dumb as fuck. Uh, but anyway, something about the view, y'all. Moving on. I thought that was some stupid ass shit. But remember when I told y'all on that grab bag Monday, I said somebody's actual words, like whatever they put out is going to come back and bite them. Like they're going to be like fucked up with their own words. Uh, but it's on a bigger scale. Like it's a, it's a, that's being a hypocrite <laughs> is what that is. Uh, the view. And then you get fired for giving your view. The fuck? Give me another one. Again, I'm not saying she was right or wrong or whatever. I really didn't even hear what she said. I just thought it was dumb that the lady got fired for giving her point of view when that's what the fuck she got hired for. What kind of shit? Y'all gonna be saying some stupid ass shit like that. Get another one. For Divine Feminine. So going uphill, this is my Tony Craxton card too. Ooh, I get so high, right? This is also high vibing as well. There may be some epiphany, some revelation, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. Yeah, some of y'all gonna be surprised. This tower feels kind of good, but it may be a disaster for someone else is what I'm being told. So something you reap on the good side is definitely going to be, there's light and dark. So if you're reaping the benefits of the light side, somebody damn sure gonna reap the benefits of the dark side. Real shit. Uh, something's about to come out about somebody who's a, been abusing drugs too. That's been getting high and shit. They look nice and all friendly on the outside. Some secret is about to get exposed about someone. Some of y'all been scaring somebody uh, in their sleep. I feel like some of y'all have been in people's dreams and shit and been scaring the shit out these people. I don't know why, Divine Feminine, but that's what it says. Or maybe y'all been uh, scared. I don't know. Somebody's, but it's like they, I don't know. They ain't living right, G, okay? Give me another one. I see somebody taking pictures on the top of a piano. You know how people take the pictures on top of the piano? Uh, sitting on the top somebody does that or a kid takes a picture at a piano or something I don't know uh playing games came out on top of the high vibing car and the tower that's why I said it's kind of like up and down because who would play games with high vibing I mean well shit they do but I, I feel like this is you so you wouldn't be playing games with your high vibing self right that would be stupid that'd just be like uh detonating the bomb uh, strapped to your body type shit right you wouldn't do that. This feels like someone else trying to, number one, somebody out there playing with drugs and shit, experimenting, and that's no bueno, okay? The tower gonna crumble on your ass. Whoever mixing drugs or dabbling, there's a basketball player out here getting high and shit, and what the fuck, Divine Feminine? Okay. Athletes out here getting high. Uh, some rumors are about to come out about somebody. Someone's also playing games with like, like being a better person. Like maybe I could do this and still do this. Maybe I can, you know what I mean? It, it, somebody's trying to like be a halfway crook out here, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. So this is, could be somebody that's like, or Divine Masculine, right? Maybe I can still fuck Tatiana Tatiano till like June. And then I'll, it's like some shit like this. Somebody's trying to do play with somebody's divinity or some high vibing shit. This gonna blow up in somebody's face, G. It is. Yeah, you're gonna be like, why the, who the fuck would do that? That's what you're gonna say, Divine Feminine, but... You're going to be like, I know, it was me. I know. Somebody playing games with the shit, okay, is what I had heard. Ooh. Give me something here on this tower for Divine Feminine in the next seven days. <clears throat> Put something on this tower. 
Somebody is, uh, there's a man out here masturbating too. But I, that's all I'm going to say about my, uh, to put something on the uh, tower card. They called you the tugboat. I don't know what that means, see? Uh, <laughs> but that's what they said, you a tugboat. I don't know what that means. I'm going to move on. I said I had nothing else to say about Violet, and then they, they started elaborating. Anyway, one on the tower. Uh-oh, Justice card with the I am Malcolm X. I am Malcolm X. I am Malcolm X. Right, is what this card is. I am Malcolm X. This is the Hierophant. This is the God card. This could be commitment. This is jobs. This is organizations. Something about the Olympics. Too. Oh, shit. Yeah, y'all. Something about these Olympics, okay? The Olympic Games. Some game or something. Uh, I don't know, y'all. Be careful. I, I know this because uh, I know I was picking up on the bomb threats and y'all sent me a lot of that shit about them HBCUs and shit. Uh, it ended up being like 12 of them. Gee, I knew it was some bullshit going on with somebody talking shit about bombs and shit out there. But anyway, thank y'all for confirming that for me. Uh, Divine Feminine. In the next seven days, somebody may be separating from someone and you may be ending up with this person. That's what I said. Someone else's tower uh, which would be, maybe it's a, a divorce, excuse me, a separation or something becomes like a blessing. It's like for you, this is my God got his eyes on you car too. God has his eyes on a karmic. I heard a karmic situation. Excuse me. They said not a karmic, a karmic situation. God has his eyes on this. Somebody may must be mistaken a high vibing situation for a karmic one. They said divine feminine in the next seven days. Or somebody playing games with the shit. Like I said, somebody's like, maybe I can sell dope on Tuesdays and Sundays and then I'll go to church on the other days. And that makes it's like somebody trying to compromise with divinity here with God. There is no compromise. Somebody here is trying to do this or they did this divine feminine. OK, somebody's playing games with it here. OK. Yeah, I feel like somebody uh, wants something or someone, but they want it when they want it. <clears throat> it's like playing with your food, like like putting a pork chop in front of someone and watch the dog jump up and down for it. But I feel like we're talking about fucking people here, okay? Uh, this is going to backfire in somebody's face in the next seven days. Some of y'all are going to be separating from a job or will be separated from a job just all of a sudden and shit or somebody may say they want to separate or divorce or something like this all of a sudden something happens some of y'all just get married all of a sudden i don't feel like you have no big ass wedding either i feel like some of y'all go straight to the courthouse elope or some shit like that just all of a sudden uh divine feminine oh shit girl okay that hurts some people maybe it hurts your family uh some other people that feel like they were supposed to be involved in your life. And I don't know, girl. That's basically what they had said, okay? Put something on the high vibing card slash Tony Craxton. Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody's going to like a treatment facility here. First, somebody goes to jail. Uh, Divine Feminine out here for... I don't know, girl. Somebody, number one, that snuck drugs up in jail. They get it. They get caught. Y'all get caught up in there. You hear? 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 I don't know. I heard they come tossing y'all's bed. So somebody bed get tossed. They find something up in there and it go down. Okay. That's number one. Number two, somebody is trying to stop doing drugs, though. I see someone or trying to get themselves together. Someone goes to like a facility or something like that. I see some of you guys going to like a spiritual retreat. Somebody go to jail out here just for marijuana because uh, it's not legal in your state. Fuck of that. But yeah, somebody does. Somebody gets arrested at their job. The police come to someone's job and arrest them in front of everybody. G. Literally, they're saying like someone falls from grace here. OK. It's like a athlete. Or somebody that just was running game and shit, like on the system, 
uh, on the government or in some shit like that. Somebody is about to get in trouble for like uh, abusing their power here, Divine Feminine, in the next seven days. This could be spiritual power, uh, power at work. It could be a police officer, somebody work at a hospital, a jail, uh, all type of shit. It's like people falling from grace and shit. Damn, girl. I still feel like you're not part of this shit. Somebody's uh, mind is playing tricks on them too, Divine Feminine. Either that or somebody trying to play mind games with you. That's what this is too, mind games. Eight of Swords is trapped up in your head with playing games. This is either someone else going like a little cuckoo because they on that dope and shit, right? And they need help, right? Or this is somebody trying to play mind games with you. For some of you, it's both. <clears throat> Who went on playing games here? Why is this here for Divine Feminine? Hangman came out. You got the Hangman, the Justice, and the Hierophant. Besides this Eight of Swords, you got all major arcana. Somebody's trying to stop a contract here, Divine Feminine, too. Like, put a pause on a, a contract that you have with someone, uh, and they can't do it. I don't know who's trying to do this, but somebody's playing games with some shit trying to uh, stop you from achieving something. You still get it. Uh, you can't, a high vibing person, uh, even if they are trapped up in their head, they won't be there long. You know what I mean? That's what this is. They get, you get out of some bind is what this is. And some contract is still to be had here. Surprisingly, some of y'all I'm being told that this is uh, someone you end up with. You didn't think you were going to end up with. You were blocked from this person until this person woke the fuck up and stopped playing games and shit. This person does divine feminine. Okay. Yes, a lot of y'all were told to leave someone alone or separate from some person, place, or thing and wait uh, and make sure that this is something that was really meant for you. That's why I said somebody may be mistaken a high vibing or a divine union for a karmic one here too. Also divine feminine, I hope y'all know, and we've talked about this before about these divine contracts that can turn karmic. Hierophant, right? Divine contract can turn karmic with the justice card easily. It can be blown up to fucking smithers, G. So don't too, put too much stock on, well, if this is my divine masculine, why is he acting like this? Uh, if the devil got kicked out of heaven, anything can be changed, G. He turned into a karmic and never went there again to return again. We don't know if somebody else in charge of the music department up there now. We never heard nothing else about him being up there, did we? The contract was blown up. Uh, some of y'all are getting out of some contract or something like that with someone. Uh, this could be someone exercising their free will and you know that they're playing games and they know that they're playing games and you have no choice but to separate from these people, this person, this job or something like that. Yeah. Oh, wee girl. Okay. Let's get some music cards out here. Put something on Malcolm X slash the Hierophant slash Justice in the Tower. I see police at like a, like a patrolling or some of y'all gonna watch this shit on TV. I don't know what the fuck happens at some game G. Okay. <clears throat> They're going to stop this game. Of course, this is going to be stopped, uh, in the middle of whatever the fuck is going on y'all. And we're going to see some shit. Uh, uh, it's either a gunman. I see more police. This shit crazy, but I see more police shootings out here too. divine feminine. So I don't know what's going on with this shit. It's like shit you gonna see. Uh, real shit. So some of y'all like avoided going to a game, avoided going somewhere. Like, nah, I don't think I wanna go there. You're gonna see why you were stopped from doing something, going towards someone or something like that, G. Ooh, hey. Put one on this tower here with Malcolm and uh, the Justice. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I, I, yeah, uh, <laughs> divine feminine, divine masculine. I feel like some of y'all are separating from somebody. You may love this person forever, but you don't want to fuck with them no more. Cause I feel like somebody loves somebody else. 
Because remember in the movie, when she sang that, she was leaving Kevin Costner. He was her bodyguard, Justice Card. Uh, she was going to work, though. She wasn't leaving him for no man. But it's like, I'm, I'm that motherfucker, uh, Kevin, okay? I'm about to blow up and shit. Uh, I'm already, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like this. I don't know. Some of y'all may be uh, choosing work over a relationship, divine feminine, divine masculine, or some of you guys are separating from someone and headed towards a whole nother relationship. Somebody may be trying to keep some man by sucking his dick to death. Okay, this also my suck on your weenie card. This mouth just stay open just for you to insert it in there, divine masculine. Some of y'all are separating from this person here, okay? Or that's all she can do, but that's, okay. Uh, yeah, some of y'all may be leaving a, a church. Some rumor may come out about a church or something comes back around, Divine Feminine. Something somebody thinks they're hiding or doing, uh, playing with, it comes back around. I'm also being told intuitively, some of you guys, uh, this could be someone who thought that they didn't want to fuck with you. Like they tried to keep you out their head or their heart, their energy. And maybe you did uh, stay out of it because I don't see you in it. But this person coming back to you. It's like somebody who may not want to fuck with you, Divine Feminine, is coming back for a lot of you, G. And uh, yeah, I told you. That is. And I told you somebody getting high. Crack is whack. Okay, I don't smoke crack. Okay. I don't have receipts for crack, okay? I'm telling you, shit, now. I don't know who keep receipts for crack, but that's what I had heard. ooh -wee. <clears throat> Somebody going back to jail. To somebody going back to like a mental facility or a, like I said, a substance abuse facility or some shit like that. This feel like an athlete, G. Uh, or somebody like in the spotlight. I don't know. Uh, the Star Spangled Banner. Remember Whitney saying that shit. It's something going on at some game. Okay, y'all? I don't know. I don't like the tower with the fucking games and shit. I, and the police and shit and the guns drawn and... What the hell? Okay. Yeah, so good. Take this heart of mine into your hands. Baby, you give good love. Divine feminine is what I heard. I don't see no wands out here. Somebody thinking about you, girl, about what you can do. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's my cunnilingus card. I knew it. Or somebody out here just sucking like weenie all the time, G. Like that's their special talent or something. I don't know. Let's go. <clears throat> I see somebody out here sucking a police officer's weenie, a preacher's weenie. Uh, a correctional offer, officer's weenie, uh, an athlete's weenie. I ain't lying. This lady mouth open. If I move Whitney Houston over to all these different cars, it's just a bunch of weenie that somebody suck. Okay. So I don't know. Okay. Divine feminine. I know this ain't you, so I don't know why this, uh, Okay. I see somebody uh, going to court for like copyrights or publishing or the masters to some music or something like that as well, or you will, or file some type of complaint or something. Okay. Put something on Tony Craxton. Ooh, I get so high. The high vibing card and eight, eight of swords here. let my period stop my day patty smith pops in the tampon hops in the heart even right five of swords with this eight of swords here and tony craxton somebody disappears a lot divine feminine or divine masculine i don't know who it is okay <coughs> excuse me for some of you somebody disappears a lot because they're doing something they have no business doing they're saying they're not doing that shit and they're doing that shit g for the majority of you i feel like uh this is somebody who had to like kind of go off and do their thing and so their royal oats I heard so they can come back and possibly profess their love to you is what I heard divine feminine or this is you someone else or maybe someone wasn't ready to get married have a specific like something had to mature here divine feminine I feel like it is or it has in the next seven days some of you guys are are like I don't even want to say astral traveling because it doesn't feel like this I feel like a lot of you guys are meeting like 
I mean, take this with a grain of salt because I don't know how y'all feel about this. But some of y'all are meeting God in your sleep. <clears throat> you know you've met him. Uh, I don't know how you know, but you know, like when you wake up, I feel like you're asleep because normally this would be ash. Well, it's not astral traveling, but eight and five is 13. You add those together. It's the four of swords, which is the man in the bed. It's also meditation. It could be prayer. And then you got the high vibing here. Uh, yes, your prayers are going up, but the fact that God is here, you know what I mean? With the tower and the eight of cups is walking towards and, and you sing it. And uh, this, I feel like this, is what you sing to God when you leave. And you got to wake up divine feminine, divine masculine and come back to this karmic cold, cold world. I feel like y'all visit the most high G and I feel like a lot of y'all don't want to come back. You don't remember this, but it's true. Oh, wow. Hmm. Somebody wears a lot of chains, G. But you know what these chains, whoever uh, is wearing a lot of chains or gold or silver or something like that, I don't know if these belong to someone, but they do contain some type of power or energy or something. Some of y'all wear a cross on your neck, <clears throat> a rosary, or just a cross or a Jesus piece, they said. Uh, this actually does give you some type of comfort, they said. Like you charge it up with something. I don't know, is what they said. I don't know. Somebody may be planning something against you, divine feminine, divine masculine. It's a crackhead, though. It's a crackhead or somebody that's high, drunk, like somebody uh, that's like uh, inebriated, all fucked up, maybe acting funny in the next seven days. They could have come from the hospital or something. They could just be on some type of medication. But somebody out here is going to be acting crazy, G, or weird or uh, suspicious or some shit like this, too. Or this, this shit I'm picking up at this motherfucking game and shit. Like a weird motherfucker and shit. Uh, hell no. Something up here, G. Okay? With somebody doing something, planting something, or, uh, yes, like shooting up something, G. Real shit. Woo wee. One on playing games in the hangman. I'm going to see where you fit in with this. I know I say this every seven days, but for real, <clears throat> I know you ain't going to the uh, Beijing games with no attitude like this and sucking on everybody weenie in the line. And what the fuck is this? No, girl. <clears throat> Put one on the hangman and playing games. Yeah, this is my e this is my moon card. But even though it's the ace of wands, this is my like, you creep me the fuck out card, okay? Uh, is what that is. I'm telling you somebody mind playing uh, tricks on them. Head games, mind games here. Uh, somebody need to stop getting high though. That's some real shit or whatever the fuck you smoking, man, or fucking Sarah doing. That's what's really fucking with your dome space like that. Real shit. Somebody can't decide if it's their intuition or if it's their, like, addictions or something like that. I feel like, I don't know, G. I feel like one blows up the other and God is in control of everything. So if it's not your intuition talking and it's an addiction talking, it's quickly blown the fuck up, G, by the most high. Like, I feel like he clears up any type of, he's not the author of confusion. So something uh, where someone's kind of confused, like, is it my mind playing tricks on me or is it and all this other shit? Uh, your mind going to be blown the fuck up. God's going to make himself known to whoever is wondering. OK. I see masculines out here playing video games at nighttime or you like to do something at night outside. Maybe you like to take nighttime walks or there's something a masculine likes to do at nighttime, G. I hope you ain't the one smoking dope and doing all this other shit, but I feel like you just like to get away. There's a masculine out here that's a loner, G, or, and not in a bad way, but like, I could be a lone wolf with you. Like, you know, you a lone wolf and shit. Uh, so I don't know if this is your person, Divine Feminine, here. It's 
someone is trying to also stop their like uh mind from being like blown or enlightened or somebody's trying to like stop some divine message from coming through or stop an awakening i don't know if they're trying to stop their own or prevent you from doing it but i mean they can't prevent you from doing it but free will they can prevent themselves but i don't even feel like they can do that uh, this is somebody who's still ascending no matter what they do. If they're getting high, sucking weenie in the county, uh, whatever the fuck somebody is doing out here, okay? Uh, they're still going to awaken during this process is what this is. That's also why somebody's mind is playing tricks on them. Somebody trying to live a double life out here, Divine Feminine, okay? And trying to be awakened at the same time. They are awakening, but the double life is what's getting blown up. Damn. Yeah, somebody goes to jail at nighttime for like being like intoxicated or something in public driving on a motorcycle or some shit like that. A public place. Uh, girl, is this you? <laughs> shit, Divine Feminine. Phew. If there was any type of dark energy around you, Divine Feminine, any type of karmic dark, whatever, that shit's being blown the fuck up and removed out of your life. So whoever it is, whoever it is, they said, I'm, I just saw some of y'all parents and I don't know what they look like, but they just showed me a bunch of people's parents. Okay. So I, I don't know why they said that they bring a lot of dark energy, but it's like they're being removed and not like anybody's going to perish or anything, but it could be. You know what I mean? They meet somebody and now they're in love and now they don't give a fuck about you anymore. You know what I mean? And not like that, but it's like they find a life of their own or you, something happens with you. Some of y'all get married, get in a relationship and that's it. G. Uh, that's how that dark energy is removed just by doing something for yourself or choosing yourself, choosing what it is that you want. Uh, that blocks something or being sure about what it is that you want. <clears throat> God is definitely clearing up some, some dark energy y'all for sure. For sure. I do see a lot of y'all taking walks, but like night walks, I don't know how safe that is divine feminine. I mean, shit, unless you rolling like you, you know what I'm saying? Then okay, girl. But, and you know what I'm saying? You ain't scared to, you know what I'm saying? You know, then okay. Uh, but I just feel like, uh, some of you guys should just be careful period. I don't like you walking at night by yourself, divine feminine. Okay. Uh, some of y'all live in a gated community. Maybe you walk by the playground or some shit like that. It's somebody sleep. It's a homeless. I mean, not that you should be scared of the homeless, but I mean, the nun got pit bulls and pistols. So, I mean, but I still ain't trying to fuck with them. Shit, that's just if you roll up on me. I'm not approaching anyone or putting myself in these situations. Some of y'all are walking somewhere where they're like uh, are homeless people or some, I don't know, a basketball court, a playground. Y'all need to be careful, G. It's, it's people sleeping there. Or y'all scared of that shit, but I mean, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, some of y'all got a big dog uh, and all that shit. And that's that's fine. Uh, but still, you know what I mean? And even the dog and the pistol ain't gonna guarantee that you, you know what I mean, are safe. Uh, so I'm saying that and take that with a grain of salt. What the fuck that mean? You know what I mean? So y'all just be careful, period. Somebody likes to smoke outside or something like that. Uh, the police are watching somebody, but we get this all the time. Uh, I still don't know why they watch. It's something about somebody getting high or drugs or something like that. Somebody got like a, I don't know. Somebody making a lot of money because this Whitney Houston and she said crack was whack. So y'all moving some powder and shit or something. Whoever this is, the feds watching, y'all moving that cocaine. Yeah, is what they had said. Oh, uh -huh, shit. Yeah. It's a woman transporting it and everything. Okay. Uh, y'all about to get caught, G. You're welcome. Uh, Divine Feminine, I don't know. Maybe we just going to hear it on the news, boo. You know what I'm saying? I say this all the time and usually we just see it on TMZ or the news. Uh, and just be like, well, I'll be damned, you know? So maybe that's just what this is. Cause I have a feeling y'all are not doing any of the shit that I named G or these your people shit. Somebody's trying to set a masculine is trying to separate from something, a relationship, a job, a lifestyle or something. I feel like divine masculine. Some of y'all dodge a bullet too. Y'all avoid this tower. This may be about you. I mean, you motherfuckers be up in here now. So I, I don't even know no more G. Okay. 
I feel like some of y'all dodge a bullet too. Some of y'all may have been trying to live a double lifestyle, meaning I can still do this and get to this later or still have Trixie and still have Divine Feminine. Some shit you've been trying to do. Half and half some shit like you are like a big ass fucking carton of creamer and shit, right? You've been trying to do something like that and this, uh, you finally get out of this completely, they said. And something blows up when you do. When you leave something divine masculine, that shit, uh, let the games begin, they said. Yeah, something happened at, uh, either, I don't know, I don't want to say, uh, Super Bowl because that's my motherfucking city shit. And I'm like, but shit. It's going to be a lot of crime that day. Uh, for people who are visiting, I've been told to tell y'all, I mean, shit now. Don't forget this motherfucking Inglewood, okay? Act like you got some sense in this bitch. It's going to be a lot of crime going on, y'all, okay? In that area for those that are going to Super Bowl or want to hang out and, and walk up and down Prairie and Manchester and shit and all that. Okay, I reload it, basically. Look at his hands. Shit, people getting robbed. I heard you got robbed. Yes, you going to be stunned like a motherfucker. Uh, look at her mouth, like, oh my god, I thought, shit, now, no, they don't give a fuck, shit, now, y'all be careful out there, now you hear, or shit, it's gonna be a lot of people going to jail, but that's for my LA people, anyway, yeah, did I tell y'all about the tugboat, because they just said it again, so I don't know. They just showed me this. Uh, I probably did. But they just showed me this justice card with this man holding this sword. Okay. And somebody mouth open. And somebody shooting up the club. And I don't know. Some of y'all going to be having sex. Or somebody is fantasizing about you giving them head. Divine Feminine. Or you actually are doing this. But I don't feel like. Uh, well. I don't feel like you're the one at the concession stand giving out blowjobs I don't feel like this is you but I do feel like somebody's imagining what sex or they've had sex with you I don't know girl okay somebody some man and I want you to want me to look at him eyes shit that man ain't even paying attention he thinking about something look at this man eyes or somebody hi Mr. Postman I told you and we know he was on that shit okay we know she was on that shit okay <sighs> Lord have his mercy. Kit. Lord. Okay. What is this? <sighs> One on the damn tower with the Hierophant, the Justice, and the Eight of Cups, which is Whitney. Somebody going to court high. Somebody go to church high, court high. But it ain't weed. It's something else, dude. Bubba! Yeah, I don't know if she show up like this, just fucked up, yelling in the... I don't know. <laughs> okay, something like that. Who is this? Somebody gets fucked up and loud or... I don't know, they embarrass people. I don't know what's up with this person. Okay. Somebody knows somebody's going to jail as well. Let's keep going. Put one over here on the tower, Malcolm, Justice, and Whitney. Damn, God came out twice. Look at this. God and God. God's fine. Look at that. That's dope, Divine Feminine. Okay, Booski. So he is making things happen, Captain. This tower is all him here, okay? So that's why I said any type of karmic shit in your life, karmic contracts, it could be legal issues. I feel like they all just about to walk away, G. Uh, cause this could be God singing to you. And I, I, why he will always love you. We know this, right? I feel like God singing this to you too, G. Uh, and that's why he just removing shit. You just ascending, getting out of cages, getting out of traps, uh, all type of shit. Cause you don't let your period stop your day. You pop that bitch in and you keep fucking moving, right? Uh, you don't know how you do it, moon card with the uh, hangman. Most people get stopped, but it's because they let these type of situations, whatever these are, divine feminine, person, place, or thing, right? These type of blockages get in the way of what God has in store for them. So they're basically what they're telling me here, divine feminine, is a lot of you guys know what God told you, G. I know he's mine. I know that's mine. I know that job is mine. That home is mine. I know I'm going to have that child, that money, even though everything is to the contrary. This is the matrix. That's why these games are being, what type of games are being played? How's it going down, right? Uh, you may have to take a minute to stop 
moon card with the hangman and use your intuition tap in pray uh get out of this mental fuckery here right when you take a minute to pray and just like god just show me you know what i mean take me out of my my mind right i don't want to lean on my own understanding right which is basically when you pop in the tampon like okay suck it up meaning whatever he gonna tell me i'm ready to hop on the harley period g and he does it's like him like showing you things g so anything that y'all wanted to know divine feminine be revealed to you about a person place or thing it is or be cleared away so and you could have something or something not so you could have it but it's yours but like so it wouldn't be an obstacle anymore you've identified it they said and you've asked God to remove it it is G. he all up in in here okay a lot of y'all, somebody is walking away from a relationship, a commitment, a marriage, and you end up being with this person. You got the hierophant twice. Some of y'all have a big ass wedding and shit and got bridesmaids and shit that stand there like, you know what I mean? All that other shit. Some of y'all like, fuck all that, right? We just go to the courthouse, right? Boom, boom. Shabam, bam, right? Pink, pink, right? And get that shit done. I see y'all, a lot of y'all are going to end up married. I can't say in the next seven days. Divine Feminine, for sure, okay? But I feel like things are going to be revealed to you about this. There's some type of reassurance or just some knowing you have about where you're going to be and that you're going to be in a certain position in your life. A lot of y'all are doing God's work out here. There's divine contracts all in here in regards to work, relationships, children, uh, all types of shit. You just had to like... Or for, I mean, for those that haven't, you kind of got to meditate, like ask him to show you. Uh, and he will. I feel like for a lot of y'all, he has though. That's probably why we watching the news. Like, ain't this a bitch? Like I asked for other stuff to be shown to me, Lord. <laughs> right. Uh, but I feel like you're going to be picking up on shit that nobody else is even like talking about, like, or even like picking up on, like they're focusing on the obvious. You see behind that divine feminine in the next seven days. That's why I said that shit about Whoopi Goldberg. I mean, like, yes, I get what she said. And like, you sound like an idiot. You do. Right. Uh, maybe your word. I don't know. Right. But it just came out all fucked up, Whoopi. Right. But big Whoopi. Right. But the shit's called the motherfucking view, G. What the fuck? Like, that's her job. Shit. To say fucked up shit. You know what I mean? And they argue about the shit and the world start hating her. And then she come back on and give another fucked up view. I mean, shit. It's almost like, ain't that her job? Then nobody say she don't get ridiculed for the shit or even chastised or nothing. But it's her fucking job to give the fucking view. Uh, this is the shit that you're looking at. You know what I mean? Like, oh, my God. Uh, Y'all watching this shit like it's going to be other shit like that happening. It is. Okay. Some of y'all damn sure leaving a church or some preachers or a pastor or somebody, an influencer, a mentor, somebody gets arrested, but like on TV or in front of a congregation, some shit at a wedding, some shit like that. Gee, they come in like arrest the groom, the, the some crazy shit. The fuck? Okay. Somebody walks out of a recital too, or a concert or something, or walks away from someone's performance. Some of y'all uh, are influencers out here, or like I said, you doing God's work, divine feminine, divine masculine. Somebody around you uh, can't even be around you. Like the more you uh, are ascending and shit and like high vibing, you gonna find it find that people can't even stand to be around you, but you know why. You're not confused about it. Back in the day, you might have been, but you're not confused about it because you know exactly where you are. I just told you some of y'all meet God like when you go to sleep, G. I feel like you wake up reassured that you're in the right place for a lot of you and you're doing the right thing and on the right path. And for a lot of you, you are. So you're going to notice that people walk away from you, even though they will always love you. They will. But it's like they can't stand the the shot it makes it convicts them thank you it convicts them y'all i went to a, a drive through not too long ago like maybe eight months ago and shit and uh you know how i have my it ain't shit kits in the back of my truck like to feed homeless people and shit right so this lady was standing there she had a i don't know what day it was but it was a day like a, a specific holiday because she had a crown that lit up like a, a little light up crown but she was homeless and shit 
So I got out my car and I gave her the bag because the line was long and I gave her five dollars and she took the shit and she was like, I'm scared of you. And I was like, why are you scared of me, girl? I'm like, take the bag. She took it. She was like, I don't even want to stand over here by you or nothing. She was like, you just scare me and shit. And it made me feel bad and shit, but I knew why she felt that way. But it was just, I don't know. Some of y'all, y'all gonna scare people like that. The fear of the Lord is in you. Gee, it's going to scare people even when you're doing acts of kindness for people. They're going to take it the wrong way or people are scared of uh, what they don't understand. You know what I mean? Even when you're doing something good for them or else they wouldn't have crucified that man. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't have done that if they understood what he was trying to do. A lot of y'all are going to feel like that. Like you're going to know why people are staying away from you. You ain't going to take that shit personal. You just know it's like God's gift, God's glory uh, is what it is. It's all over y'all in the next seven days. Divine feminine and divine masculine. Real shit. It's like it's coming out your pores. Like uh, It's almost like uh, they said perfume or cologne. When somebody walks by you and it leaves that, that scent, that after scent, that's how God is on y'all, they said. Damn. And that's. People ain't even going to want to accept shit from you, G. Still give it to them, though. You know what I mean? I didn't chase the lady down or, you know what I mean? I didn't uh, chastise or make her feel bad or nothing. I was like, it's all good, girl. And she went and stood on the other side. She never came back to the drive through and I sat there for a long time. And I just looked at the lady, like, trying to figure out, like, it can't be what I think it is. Like, you know, like, my car ain't all, like, my Mercedes bends around the world and I, yeah, yeah. So it ain't that, girl, because, I mean, shit, you hear how she rattling and sounding, girl, so it ain't that, okay? I'm in a drive through at a fast food restaurant, so, you, I mean, come on. You know, but it was like she felt the energy and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I wanted her to be good. You know what I mean? Period. Like, you still a queen to me is what I told her. Like, girl, don't worry about this queen to queen shit. You know what I mean? Still take the shit, you know? Some of y'all are, uh, you going to have that effect on people, G. In the next seven days. Like, you're royalty, G. Like, when people see you, they just, they either cry or they uh, want to hug you, shake your hand, or be next to you, or talk to you. There's something about you. They said convent. It's a unisex message, what I'm giving right here. There's something about you where, uh, what's that shit? In, uh, they showing me uh, uh, coming to America when Prince Hakeem went to the football game. And passed that dude. He was like, my king, my king. Please take a picture. And they came up like, who? The, why do they want to take a picture with dude who worked at McDowell's and shit? He hold royalty up in that bitch, right? Uh, and he was ashamed, like, no, I'm not. I'm not the king. I'm not Prince Hakeem. Like, oh, sure, okay, just take the picture. Hurry up, right? Y'all very humble and shit. But this is the energy y'all give off, okay? What? Where was he at? At the game? Shit. I'm telling you, uh, y'all. It's something about y'all. This shit dope. So, yeah, maybe y'all just watching shit on TV like, ain't it a motherfucking shame? Like, I feel like that's what shit is. Some of y'all just turn the shit off. Uh, don't even watch it. Some I have it on, but I rarely watch it. I may glance at it because it's on just to see what's going on. But you really don't watch that shit. It's like your mind won't even let you focus on it. High vibing people. You ever notice you try to, I don't know about you, but you try to watch a movie or something. It could be tarot, anything. My mind be gone, G. If I got to watch that shit, I'm like, oh shit, I wouldn't even listen to what the fuck they said. Watching or else it got to captivate a bitch. Okay. And it's rare that things are captivating these days. Y'all feel the same way. Uh, rarely anything catches your attention except for whatever God is pointing you to. He may show you something or something catches your eye and you're like, okay, I'll check out the title, right? And see what it is. You guys are going to even be led to like uh, movies, uh, places, literature, videos, like all type of shit strictly by him. Because I feel like y'all are hungry, G. But it's like hungry, hungry for another level of ascension or spirituality. And you're not really finding that in the normal places that you would. And some of y'all may be thinking, like, what's going on? Like, you're ascending, G, past all this fucking shit. It don't even amuse, entertain your ass or nothing. Real shit. Ooh. Yeah, death card at the bottom of the deck, basically. Put one on the high vibing card, five of swords, eight of swords theft but it's like a waste of time like you know what I mean a waste of valuable time or valuable time valuable things being stolen taken or just you know what I mean left your window open just like this like your brain on drugs or like you know what they say frying your brain cells 
uh, like my grandpa used to say, you watching that boob tube, right? He used to say that all the time. Like that shit ain't no good for your brain. But he had his certain shows that he watched. But my grandpa like read the Bible, read uh, books like theology and all this other shit, like mostly more than anything. Uh, so now I'm intrigued and shit because now I get why he was doing it. He was just on another level. Some of y'all are like this too. It's like you want to be fed something else, but it's not, it can't be shown to you or given to you by human hands. It can't be, you can't be guided to it, they said. So take that back. It, you can't be guided to it by human hands or human means or human direction. It can only come from di divine direction. Uh, is what they're saying because it may be given to you by human hands you know that would kind of be impossible because I mean that's why he put us on earth things are man-made right so you would have to there's something man-made about it but it's you were divinely guided to it so it could be an indie film or you know what I mean an indie something like an underground restaurant you never saw a museum botanic something like that where you know that like you're being divinely guided no one else could show you this shit you've been looking for shit like this or it's a person this could be like someone's been looking for the perfect person. It's like that motherfucker don't exist. Uh, and you do, Convent. That's what this says. Both of y'all saying this shit. You and your person both saying like this person don't exist. And even if they found you, they still think that shit bullshit and think that shit don't exist. Uh, but they manifested you and you manifested this person. There's spiritual contracts out here too. Uh, one for you, one in for them. You make my life complete. I don't know why they started playing that. You make me feel so sweet. Who sings that? I belong to you and you belong to me too. That's what they started playing, y'all. But I guess it go to what I said. But both of y'all may think the other person too good to be true out here. Somebody is sneaking away from a relationship. Like I said, a job. Uh, somebody actually break out of jail, G. They do. Uh, they come looking for your ass immediately too, G. Uh, Bolo, they said. They put out a Bolo on like some, uh, somebody escape and get out that motherfucker. They do. Shit. Uh, okay, random. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. They, uh, it must be, I don't know. Sometimes y'all come through, they must have, y'all done found out how to get the cell phone back in. I seen a whole video. Y'all be making music videos and everything. Man, I'll be astounded by that shit. Like, that's what I'm talking about, though. That's the shit I'll be talking about, though. Divine feminine, uh, divine masculine. Uh, people be lazy out here in these streets. They filming whole music videos in prison and shit with Cuban links on and rollies and, and all type cell phones. And you can't get that shit out here in on earth, like, with your freedom, right? Somebody else got it. Come on, G. Like, you can make it happen, Captain. So shout out to y'all. Not You know what I'm saying? Not all y'all. But some of y'all, you know what I mean? That's just going to make it work, jerk. Uh, Divine Feminine, I don't know what that has to do with you. But yes, if your man locked up, I feel like he making that. I don't know if he get sneak out, get out, or he building the whole palace in that bitch. Whoever this is, okay? In the next seven days. What the hell? Hmm. For the majority of you, someone's just going to end up sneaking out of a commitment, a relationship. Because they must see you. Uh, somebody gets high on you, Tony Craxton. <laughs> when I'm around you, baby. Yeah, uh, that's how they feel about you, Divine Feminine. In the next seven days, you make their temperature rise. I feel like it's mutual. Divine Feminine, you already got your eye on somebody. Somebody, uh, I feel like you're not the one in a commitment. You may be just walking away from karmic things and karmic jobs and, uh, like relationships with people, but not romantically. Your person is though, but your person want to sneak away from. That's why I said somebody trying to be like a cup of creamer and shit here and do half and half. Like, well, it's almost like God's not going to let them become this honest person with you and not leave this other person in an honest way or separate from the situation. Honestly, ain't no such things as halfway crooks here. So something has to be done right all the way around here. Uh, but it's being cleared out. So it looks like people are doing this shit. Ooh wee. Okay. Tell them what they want, Fred. Ba -na -da -na -da -na -da -na. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be surprised, Divine Feminine. Tower card. I feel like a lot of y'all get blessed, G, in the next seven days. It may be eight, right? Because <laughs> you got the 25, which is the seven, if you could see that, right? And then you got the eight, 
right? Seven to eight days, G. Something happens. I don't know. Ooh, Some of y'all, your job set a lot of court. Uh, and then you just get your money. And you're like, what? I don't have or somebody gets out. Something miraculous happens, G. Put something on uh, playing games and the hangman and the moon. Which is the ace of wands, too. Which is Marvin Gaye. Yeah, somebody out here. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> they keep talking about the tugboat, man. I'm going to move on from that, though. Because I don't want to talk about this person. It ain't going to work, sir. Excuse me for burping in y'all ear. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, It ain't going to work, sir. Uh, You keep tugging on it like this. Uh, it's like you play with it too much. The playing games is out. I mean, they, they must want me to say it. Uh, you're wasting valuable seeds or something. You just wasting shit. Like this, like somebody shooting guns in the air and bullets ain't, ain't around no more and shit. You know, I'm like, okay, that's not smart, but yeah, uh, something like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Put one on the playing games with the hangman and the moon, which is Marvin Gaye. Somebody might be. I don't know if it's Marvin, but somebody just might be. Like, uh, don't know what side uh, they play for, what team they play for. The girls' team or the boys' team here is what I heard, too. Ooh. Uh, put one on this hang. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the hanged uh, man with this ace of wands and this playing games. Somebody out here is a, a chronic gambler, too. Or somebody going to gamble on these games or whatever's going on, Super Bowl, whatever. You're going to lose. You're going to lose a lot of money, too. I don't know if they come looking for your ass and shake you over the balcony, sir, and get whatever the fuck come out your pocket. But somebody need to be careful, okay? I feel like they'll, they'll take what's in your house, too. I'm like, oh, that's okay. We'll come to you and your wife. Let me get that motorcycle, right? That patty ass was on. Uh, wrap that bubble, wrap that TV. Uh, all this shit. Uh, somebody is coming to get their money, okay, or whatever. So somebody who's gambling and don't have it, you should not do that. Put one on the playing games with the hangman again and Marvin. When is that shit? Next weekend? Because they stressing on this, uh, these games, and I don't know. Look, let me know what happened, Captain. You know, I'll probably hear it. Literally, if I don't know. <sighs> Prison. That go back to everything I had said about y'all making music videos, escaping, all that shit, right? I don't know how y'all do it. Uh, but I do see people changing their life over. For people who have somebody locked up in jail specifically, like, because I'm a criminal, right? I feel like this person, I don't know. That's just, they just bad to the bone. They just go back, get out, go back, get, where they, they dedicated to that shit. Uh, this person may finally get their life together. Uh, it's going to surprise them too. Like somebody may actually, uh, I feel like they do it for God. Like God really touches them. But I feel like you have something to do with this as well. Divine feminine. Real shit. Somebody may also think that you're playing games with them, divine feminine, but you're not. Somebody's stuck in their head like a motherfucker, G. This person uh, may think they going crazy. Uh, this It's a masculine energy for sure. I don't know what you did to this man, but I don't, I don't really feel like you did anything. But he's stuck. I feel like he's stuck somewhere, like in a relationship, in something, a prison, right? A job, a dead-end job, some place he doesn't want to be. But his intuition is telling him to do something else, and it's odd. Whatever it's telling this man to do. This man think he going crazy, but he ain't. Uh, he's ascending, he's awakening and shit. Uh, and so now he's counting his dollars and his pennies and shit, thinking he gonna lose something if he follows his intuition. But God is telling him, keep your eyes on the prize. I got a whole shaboing, boing, boing. What are you talking about? Like, get you life, bro, basically. It's an athlete going to jail. Another one, G, another one. Yeah, I don't know what what's going on with them. Uh, all y'all look alike to me too. No offense, but I'm like, didn't they just arrest that motherfucker? Like, he, I don't know if it is the same one, but it's something like that. 
uh who was that that said uh we were uh oh what reading was that when I was saying y'all gonna see some shit and you like it feels like a glitch in the matrix and somebody commented and said, yeah, because we thought Louis Anderson had passed away a long time ago, the Mandela effect. And I said, real shit. I thought he was gone. When I saw that, I was like, I thought he had been gone. Right. Uh, some shit like that. Yes. Whoever put that comment there. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all don't. Right. But yes, the Mandela effect here is for real. Uh, y'all gonna see this shit. Wow. This shit crazy to y'all gonna be like, I swear this shit happened already. Nope. A lot of y'all are protected by the light, divine feminine, for sure, for sure. Uh, you could lose things. Uh, some of y'all have bad days. I see y'all thinking bad thoughts sometimes. Even when this happens, you're still protected. Like you're, you're, uh, they said you're granted bad days is what they're saying but you always get out of it. You know you're protected, like tomorrow's gonna be better or it eventually will be better. You're always looking ahead. You know God got you and that's some real shit. That's why you separated from all karma. I feel like eventually, uh, not saying that bad things won't happen, but I feel like they won't be so frequent or you won't be like expecting them because it's almost like you don't uh, live on that timeline anymore and you're gonna surprise the fuck out yourself, G. Real shit. Ooh, wee girl, okay. I'm going to see why they were telling us about all that malarkey on television and shit. Why we need to know? Like, yeah, I'm still like, mm-hmm. Why? Deja. You going to wonder how people can be so cruel? You know what I mean? Like, uh, Divine Feminine in the next seven days. You're going to see, like, uh, acts of, like, uh, they said humanitarianism and, like, acts of, like, just evil, G. Like at the same damn time, uh, it may affect you because you're an empath, they said. That's why it's, I haven't pulled, but that's what they're saying. That's why it's important for you to know. So turn that shit off. Uh, you know what I mean? When you're seeing just destruction and evil and you know what I mean? Like turn it off if you know you're going to be affected by it or don't continue to watch it. It's like watching that Rona shit all motherfucking day. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker wonder why they get sick. You just manifested that shit because it's why. Really? You know what I mean? You know what I noticed too? Side no shit. Just talking, right? I told y'all like I watch the news a lot, but I flip, I flip different channels just so I can have everything and just get a broad view of everything, right? The view, right? I've noticed that when Fox News is on, they don't play uh, commercials about prescription pills. They're always showing people active, uh, talking about fruits and veggies. Uh, you know what I mean? All types of shit on Fox. If you ever pay attention, some of they shit be crazy, but I'm like, the, I don't look at that shit. You know what I mean? That's why I said it's not that. It's like beyond that. You know what I mean? They like promote actual good health on that shit. They really fucking do. Uh, if you watch any other channel, any other news channel, you'll see that they got a bunch of prescription medicine shits and just weird shit the vibe is different uh on some real shit so pay attention to what y'all are watching in the next seven days like but really pay attention like what's the subliminal message behind that shit you know like what they are uh wanting you to see but what you need to see pay attention to what you need to see Anyway, but yeah, let me get a card on that. Maybe we'll just fill in some blanks here and see what's going on with all that. So give me a card in regards to why we need to know about all the, that ma'am, that don't even concern us. Well, I mean, I'm sure that jail part concerned a lot of y'all with, with your mans in them. Either he's stuck in a relationship that feels like jail or it's actually jail or court or something, okay? Uh, but the other shit though, What's up with all that uh, mayhem? Yeah, it's just a spiritual message, intuitive message. I got star card, uh, boomerang card. Mod, cuz I don't have any panties on. So that goes back to the Prince Akeem shit where I told y'all, y'all royalty, y'all just gonna be seeing shit. That set you free too. Uh, yeah. Divine Feminine, some I'm telling you, for some of you guys, there's some place you're going to decide not to go, and you were specifically uh, told not to go there for a reason, set free from that, or not be with someone or something for a reason. Some of y'all are going to be, uh, some of y'all going to realize that a parent, a mother, or a father 
is going to be upset at you for being happy. Real shit. You're going to set yourself free from that too. Like a mother or somebody doesn't like that you have your own shit or a father that you got your own home. You're married. You have kids. You're doing things the way you want to do it. You're disciplined. Uh, they can't really go where you're going. They know this. Uh, some of y'all have a parent that's going to resent you or it already is. Or these are kids doing this to you. I don't know. Divine feminine. But okay. One more. Yeah. Three of swords came out. Mm-hmm. You're just tired, G. Uh, but I'm asking why these messages came out. Because these are just spiritual messages, intuitive messages that, I mean, describing some type of hurt that's going to happen. Something happens, y'all. Okay? Uh, some athletes, stars, because uh, what this is, too, they get something happens with them. I don't know all of, not all of them, of course, but there is at least one here that's going to get cut out of something, hurt. Uh, something happens to someone. Or it happens at a star-studded, yes, event, Hollywood, the devil car. He is not welcome here. Yeah, it's an evil spirit around trying to hurt people. Gee, that's why. An evil entity around that's going to uh, be out trying to hurt people. Y'all be careful. I told you, look, in the motherfucking city, did I not say the games, G? Y'all be careful out here. Whoever, I, I feel like I'm talking to people who like, even if you're not going to the game, some of y'all are young and want to hang out or y'all are traveling here. Something is up, G, okay, with that shit. I don't know what it is. I ain't trying to scare nobody because I am trying to watch Dr. Dre and all them perform. So I ain't trying to scare nobody and no shit like that. Or maybe the performance, somebody's performance gets cut out or something. Something gets like canceled or stopped abruptly, y'all. If it's not this uh, like Super Bowl, it's some game coming up or a something. Oh, wait. A little child came out. Yeah, something gets bred, they said. An entity is bred. Wow. Some of y'all do end up in a relationship and have a baby, too. Because I'm asking about why those messages came out. So they're just mixing them up now. Some of y'all are going to have a child with someone. And the devil may be trying to convince you that you're not going to. Or reconcile, reconcile with someone. And start anew. And something. That's why I said someone's intuition. Uh, is And their mind is playing tricks on them. It's almost like you know what God told you. You feel it and all this. But there's something there that's going to contradict that shit. This entity is going around. So I feel like in regards to all that crazy shit explosions and shit I'm picking up on this may be this person or these people whoever do who do, does this shit right they battle with themselves it's like some thought fester this person hurts I mean and I'm sure they all do whoever just like blowing people up and shit like that right hope I don't get flagged but that's what this is uh something going on with this person of course childhood you know the shits you know what it is but this is somebody who goes back and forth between the dark and the light whoever's planning something they know the the difference between right and wrong okay uh if this does not play out in like some type of game or something then this is somebody playing games with your ass divine feminine divine masculine okay and it's, it is, it's the final game. It's the Super Bowl. It's the Olympics. This is it. You know what I mean? Where you are playing and somebody going to try to fuck the shit up or they've been trying, but something gets cleared away. So I don't know what they're talking about, y'all. Put a music card over here. Beyonce tried to come out, so... Some about some dancers... A performance or something like that, y'all. I don't know. They showed me Michael Jackson with the Pepsi commercial when he caught when his hair caught on fire and shit. They're showing me that right now, so I don't know what that's about either. Okay, but somebody need to make sure the pyrotech. They said the pyrotech. Mm -hmm. Know what the fuck he doing? Okay, or she? 
I don't know what the hell they talking about, y'all. So we'll see. Shit, I'm I'm interested too. Damn it, like what? Kanye came out. I mean, anybody could have come out. That's why I know it's a performance, like someone, something relevant now. Anybody could have came out in this deck. Fucking Hank, uh, Sly Face Hank. I knew he wasn't going to be performing. You know what I mean? Nothing like that. Like, uh, you know, like this is like relevant, like someone hot now or I don't know, y'all. I'm hearing a child gets hurt by something as well. By Hollywood. What the fuck? I don't know. I'm going to get out of that. Uh, that's probably for y'all uh, celebrity folk up in here. You know, I don't know nothing about that. And uh, the, us regular folk don't either. Like, what? My child ain't going there. Shit, I don't even let them go to the movies without a mask. <laughs> Says the convent. Yeah, that would be us regular folk. All right. Let's see who this uh, person is. This commitment, Divine Feminine. Like, shit, Hollywood, I think the fuck not. Yeah, some of y'all, I'm telling you, like, dodge a bullet. I don't know why they keep saying that. It could be literally, because I'm telling you, I'm picking up on something crazy, y'all, okay? They said evil lives. The fact that it's spelled backwards should tell you so. Damn, real shit, though. Uh, the fact that it's spelled backwards lets you know that it lives, they said. That's why it says something is bread, some entity or something, y'all. I don't know, okay? Give me some uh, messages in regards to divine feminine this relationship that's coming. Let's get on something else, because what the hell? This is my body of Christ card, girl. This is like my king of pentacles. This is that bread. This is something valuable. Uh, and I'm asking about a, the relationship coming towards you. That is a valuable connection. And both of y'all make some, well, somebody out there hustling. But you know what? Yeah, divine feminine. Somebody is out there trying to make money with the wrong person. You are this masculine energy here. Uh, and it's not happening. Like, they, they hustling. It's like, it's not working, G. Somebody's in a partnership. I feel like it's your person. They're with someone else or stuck with someone else, and they can't make shit happen. If it's not money, they could be trying to, like, build a business or create something, and they can't do it there. Or you can't, Divine Fibbity. Somebody can't. Give me another one here for this relationship coming towards her so we can go. This reading was a little weird. They just said that they keep saying the view. So I don't know. Maybe you guys are just watching something from afar and it's just like, Lord have his mercy. Uh, I feel like it makes y'all want to settle down even more. You know, when you just see crazy shit like this, why the fuck I want to move to the country? You know how you just start feeling like that? Like this, this is why I need to get the fuck out of here. Uh, I feel like all this stuff that I pulled on is making you and someone else like kind of reevaluate life and like where they want to be. So, I mean, it should do that to most people, right? For people that, especially for people that are high vibing and awakened like y'all and know y'all here for all that, right? Uh, of course you would feel this way. Give me another one here about this uh, relationship coming towards divine feminine here. You got the, the bread here, so that's a good sign. For sure. At least you got some money, girl. So... <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of you guys have a good relationship with money, with your spirituality as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, is what this is. So, of course, you're manifesting this on the physical in another sense and the human. Look. Oh, my goodness. But she did enough to cut me off. Make out like it never happened. I know we were nothing. Look, this is a man that go to work, boo. I asked about your relationship. This is the speeding man. Divine masculine. This here, you. This is you and your high vibe working. You're a provider is what this is. Uh, the, you are the king of pinnacles. I told you, divine feminine. Uh, this person may be struggling or was struggling or you're struggling. 
and someone doesn't want to come off like that. They want to like make sure they got their shit together. I mean, who wouldn't want to come and approach you like this divine feminine, like in their best form? You too, divine masculine shit. It ain't one sided. Uh, people want to be, you want to be your best for someone divine masculine. And this person wants to be the same for you. Like have something. Uh, this is the relationship coming towards y'all. You specifically divine feminine. Okay, girl. <clears throat> I don't know about in the next seven days. We kind of stopped that with the up there portion. But I feel like it's what I said about you guys reevaluating like life and the world. And it's just making you want to do things different. Uh, just the crazy shit that you're seeing here, period. Put one on this bread here with this uh, Gautier speeding man. This man smells good too. Uh, he does. I feel like he stopped eating like gluten or like uh, he doesn't eat grain or he may eat healthy, Divine Feminine. You may be trying uh, to do that as well. I don't feel like lighting another one, G. We almost done. princess of wands the dancer a dancer for money yeah this man might have been fucking with strippers though real shit or likes uh, fast money i heard uh fast money strippers i feel like he kind of like all of them women uh only fan all that he definitely a man uh whoever this is here uh and he ain't i don't know if he the tugboat man his shit look like it worked just fine a little too fine some of them had something uh divine feminine divine masculine it's you uh, it was burning. Yep, I don't know who you was with. I feel like the private dancer. That's my stripper. Strippers dance and make her dance. Yep, with the devil too. Oh, yeah. So, Divine Feminine, some of these men spent a lot of money on strippers. Some of them got burned by strippers. Some of them just Tatiana's period. Divine Masculine, this is you, G. Uh, whether they didn't burn your, your PP all the way, they burned you as far as took your money, made you lose some shit or whatever. So I feel like you are, uh, re up on your shit and getting your monies and all your shit back up. So I feel like by the time you approach this divine feminine, uh, it'll be like it never happened. G you want the view to be perfect. Yes. They keep saying the view. Yeah. You getting out of some relationship, divine masculine. You saw where something was going and you like, I think the fuck not. I think you got the fuck up out of there, bitch. You can keep the records and shit. How your friends collect all whatever, bitch. They can have it all. I feel like y'all are leaving someone, Divine Masculine, or getting out of some situation, uh, some money situation or something like that. Some way of thinking. Some of y'all, it was a belief, uh, religious belief, traditional belief. Some of y'all are like passionate about someone going towards shit. That's what it say, boy. Shit. A little freak. They say you a little freak too. Yeah. Look what came out. Knight of Wands. Yeah. You ain't the tugboat man. Uh, or unless maybe, I don't know. You don't have to tug it no more. It's what I had. Uh, when you get with your divine feminine and maybe it only worked for her. Uh, Knight of Wands and the princess of wands is like definitely like male energy. Like let's get it on. Right. When didn't Marvin come out? He sure damn did. Right. Same shit here. Uh, a lot of y'all are on your way, are on, are on your way towards, uh, a relationship, divine feminine, divine masculine. There is a masculine coming towards someone. I feel like, uh, divine masculine, you went the other way first. Some of y'all just took a real shitty job when you should have took another one or you like went another route when you know now that you should have went the other way. A lot of y'all are making a U-turn. Okay. I'm just glad you work, uh, for real, <laughs> real shit. Like, I'm just glad you doing good, Booski. Some of y'all, like I said, are, uh, athletes, entertainers. I got out here, uh, businessmen, you know what I mean? Entrepreneurs, uh, influencers, teachers, something about traffic or patrol or something. I did see the police out here. Yeah. Some of y'all got some really good jobs. Look at you, straight coming to the Divine Feminine Empress. Mm -hmm. She's single too. And doing very well for herself, not to put your business out. Like, bitch, what you gonna give her my pin number next? My bad, Divine Feminine. <laughs> not your pin number, bitch, you stupid. But that's what I heard. Like, bitch, stop telling her, what the fuck? <laughs> I know, girl, my bad. Uh, I see y'all traveling, having a good time, Divine Feminine. Some of y'all think you're gonna be by yourself doing this and you won't. 
it's gonna happen very fast. Like how you're manifesting, like uh, getting healthy and your money's good, right? Your children are good, everything's good, right? This is gonna manifest the same way. It's gonna be all good, G, it is. That shit was funny as hell. I was just trying to tell them, girl, damn. Like you, you're doing very well for yourself. And so naturally he would wanna be doing well for himself. This two doing well for themselves as people here. I mean, I'm just saying, girl. Y'all are very, uh, or will be very passionate about each other. I feel like this somebody new. A night in the page, this is like, or you're starting over and new. He feel brand new shit, uh, is what this is. So it's either someone renewed, uh, like a divine masculine, or this is a brand new person. Divine masculine, you may be meeting a brand new divine feminine, but you are brand new. Divine feminine is brand new as well. Oh shit. Okay, y'all. I feel like she liked that Gautier song, but who doesn't? When that shit came out, I'm like, yeah, I like Gautier. Uh, and it's not, it's Gautier. But shit, that's how the fuck we were saying shit. I ain't got time to be uh getting off one song on y'all. Oh shit, what the fuck? Uh, but yeah, anyway. So some of y'all been saying it wrong too, but hey, so Divine Masculine, you been saying Gautier too? That's all right, Booski, we like it. Give me another one. Cause we are living in a material world and I am a material girl. Right. I feel like that's who you were fucking with, Divine Masculine. That's, remember I said you making a U-turn because I feel like you were here. Somebody was with you for money. It could have been a stripper. Uh, some of y'all in the spotlight or some shit or well-known Divine Masculine, I'm talking to you. Uh, y'all are leaving this person and coming towards a Divine Feminine. Here. This, yeah, now I feel like you re up on your shit. You full of love though, Divine Masculine, Ten of Cups, but I feel like you ain't doing bad neither. I feel like a lot of y'all have nice homes, nice cars, and I mean, it ain't nothing all extravagante, or it may be, I don't know, right? But it says you live comfortably by the time you approach this Divine Feminine because you're deciding to go like the right way. Not saying she's completely the right way, but what this is saying is it's something about you going her way. You're gonna notice your money start getting better. Uh, you're going to be full of love. Your home will be full of love. You'll feel clear in regards to making your decisions. You'll be going out, having fun, listening to music. I mean, it just looks like you a whole different person, G. And it says, cause we are living in a material world. Uh, so that sounds like both ours. That sounds like you and divine feminine. Like, no, we both got it. That's why we are living in a material world. That other person you were with, divine masculine or divine feminine, uh, it's like you were uh, providing that material world for someone that couldn't help and like they couldn't uh, add to the shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like divine feminine, divine masculine, you guys are going to end up together and you both bring something you can contribute uh, financially, emotionally, uh, physically is what this says, everything. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have a baby with this person. There go Riri. Congratulations, girl. You're going to have a baby with this person. Uh, Divine feminine, divine masculine. Yeah. In beast mode. Yeah. Something get created. It do. Mm-mm-mm. I do declare. Okay. Put one more so we can go. Uh, this is your the commitment that's coming towards you, divine feminine. Divine masculine. A lot of y'all are about to get like a good job or some contract or some money. You got money on your mind and you're manifesting it. You're going the right way too. Uh, like there may be something that you got to hop on real quick. I don't know if it's, I, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I don't know now. <laughs> I, they're mixing like sexual shit with like some money and all this other. Maybe you're just going to go get everything. What can make a nigga want to go and get it? Basically. Okay. So you're going to be after a whole lot of things, Divine Masculine, in regards to like bettering yourself, like the shit you want. Like, you know how it is when you want a car and you spend all that money on it? Like, fuck it, it's what I want. Shit, I don't care. I'm going to put all this shit on it, the wheels, uh, all that shit, right? Uh, I feel like you're going to treat everything like you treat your car. <laughs> Divine Masculine, they said. Wow. Okay. They said you love your car or you love cars. Uh, something you really love, you go after it, you will buy it. You're going to start looking at everything in your life like that with, in regards to the things that you want, you want them, they make you happy. So you'll take care of them. You'll cherish them. Okay. You remind me of my Jeep. I want to ride it. 
Something like my sounds. I want to bump it. Girl, you look just like my car. Yeah, I don't know. That's what they started playing. I want to wax it. Something like my bank account. I want to spend it, baby. Okay, y'all. Somebody, yeah, ba that's baby making music. Uh, and we saw the man in prison and all that other shit. Maybe that's who fighting for their rights and their publishing and all that shit I saw, right? But, uh, it's somebody making kids to R. Kelly G. You and this person will for a lot of you. So, shit, that man deserved to eat Cheetos and Top Ramen while he in there. Don't front. Okay? He deserve a uh, fruit punch and Twix and <laughs> all that shit. I ain't trying to be funny. Maybe, I don't know. That's what they said, Okay? Let that man make a spread and be happy. Shit, now. Anyway. This is the person coming towards you, Divine Feminine. This is the commitment you're about to have. It's going to be nice. Y'all going to have a nice house on a nice street. Uh, Like, it's beautiful there. Wherever y'all live are going to live. Look, pleasant letter, we're getting at your chain chain. Gaining a lot of money and pleasant letter. I told you, divine masculine, where whenever you go towards this divine feminine, it's something. Remember, I was talking about God's glory all on you, and it's like a perfume and all that. You carry it too, divine masculine, right? It's the scent you leave, but like you zoom, zoom, right? And, and you just smell, you just leave it. Like the scent of money, abundance, blessings. You have it. You're going towards someone who has the same shit. Right. So when y'all get together, no wonder y'all living in a material world. Look at checks on checks on checks. Y'all got butlers, maids, uh, all type of shit uh, is what this is. I feel like y'all are very abundant to divine masculine, divine feminine. This uh, person that divine masculine was with is going to try to spend some type of web to stay connected to this person. They want some money. Uh, they may try to blackmail this divine masculine, say he gave her something. Uh, I don't know. They may work with this man or some shit. This bitch gonna stay tied into this motherfucker. Don't believe that shit, divine feminine. She maybe she the tugboat. Maybe she the one tugging on this man's balls. Uh, is what I heard. But uh, you the one that make the money though. So this gonna be like your secretary too, whoever this bitch is. Shit, is what I had. Hey, I mean, you know what I mean? It's like uh, if she worked with him or. If it's like a baby mama or ex-wife or something, it's almost like, I mean, you ain't coming up in here talking shit like, uh, we are living a material world, bitch. Uh, we, th that means 50-50, uh, so you don't come up in here running shit, talking all this shit here, okay? Or running anything. Uh, I feel like this is your partner. I don't feel like you go off on anybody, but it's very apparent that this is a partnership. There's not one person over another one. It's a lot of respect here, Divine Feminine. But yeah, this person could be going through legal issues for sure. Some of them is with drugs. Uh, they got pulled over for drinking and driving. Some of them is child support. <clears throat> uh, some other shit, legal shit. I don't know. They, they got a lot of legal problems, all these people. Or they know they will. Uh, you may find yourself divine feminine, not being attracted to anyone, a lot of you, or separating yourself from people just like, you know, uh, you, this is being cleared out so this man can come. You may not be, no, you may not know, excuse me, shit, that you're doing this because you're not doing it on purpose, but you are uh, clearing out something, or God is, because remember, he came out twice with the tower, and I'm like, something's being cleared away, a path, two of wands, a pathway is being cleared uh for both of you guys to come together so shit maybe both of y'all watching this bullshit on the news uh some of y'all gonna be watching a super bowl with someone or i don't know girl okay I, I don't know something about the view okay but i'm done anyway divine feminine that's been your reading like i said it may or may not have resonated with every single divine feminine getting no fit nuts still thank you for visiting my channel am i tripping or not tarot my name is cockfrost but you can call me the ghetto nun please hit like subscribe share with your friends again info for private readings will be below the video i will talk to you later love you bye